Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another video. So, yeah, don't know what much I'm going to be talking about here, because there's not much yet to come out. But I'm ready to talk about the current thing. What the hell? Did you get... Do you hear that? Hold up, let me turn down the music. I feel like... Who the fuck is knocking my door? What? Or... All right, one moment. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's actually time for a rarely watch to come back. That's right. Boom! That's what was knocking at the door. That's right. None other than a rarely watch, the greatest series in Dokkan history. The only series that's willing to tell you about when the hell is a rarely coming back to Dokkan. <laughs> And we're back with another thrilling episode. I've escaped the confines that is to be released and being the fact that this is in fact a series that is inside to be released. But considering that Zen no longer plays the game, uh, and I can't find another dope who's willing to talk about Dokkan with me otherwise, I'm going to be talking about Really Watch. So what, 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 what inspired this episode? Well, first of all, I was able to actually pull Kid Goku. Um, which I promised that if I ever pulled Kid Goku, I would be doing a video I would bring back a Rayleigh watch. So here's a Rayleigh watch back. What's so great about this Kid Goku? Well, thankfully, there's about like 5,000 other Dokkan YouTubers, and I think the the math guys agree as well that this is basically excluding Easy A's, because there are still people who uh, consider the Easy A cooler, the best, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, Kid Goku is probably the best TUR in the game, in terms of no caveats included. If he, if he had an easy A, then he would be the best easy A in the game as well. Uh, we'll look forward to that in like two years when they easy A him when the power creep has gotten so crazy. But the point is, is that he's a leader for Dragon Ball Saga, Youth, and Exploding Rage. And let me tell you, and with a bonus to Dragon Ball Seekers and Bond of Friendship, and let me tell you, Aureli has at least one of those categories, two of those categories, how the fuck does she not have... I'm actually pissed off at Dokkan. How does she not have bonds of friendship? The motherfucker has so many friends that it's unreasonable. I forget Dokkan categories are shit. But the point is... Aureli. So if you actually don't know what who Aureli is, Aureli is the protagonist for the first... Uh, a manga that was big for Akira Toriyama, which was Dr. Slump. It released in Japan, um, her unit. One moment, because my dumbass cat wants to be let out. Uh, so yeah, Aureli, she was released in December 2016, it was a big surprise to everyone because she released with like five different units and then three of them got a Dokkan Awakening and then later on the other two did, which was crazy because uh, at the time of Dokkan's release back in 2016, it was rare for one unit, like two or th a couple units to get like... Well, back, well, back in the, oh man, this is such a stupid thing to talk about the politics of Aureli and her getting uh, Dokkans. But back in the day, when a character got a Dokkan Awakening, it mattered because you could only run one of those units on a team, only ever one. And if a unit got Awakening, it meant that um, another one of those kinds wouldn't get Awakenings for a while. For example, Super Saiyan Goku, it actually took him a long time for us to get a Super Saiyan Doku Goku that got a Dokkan Awakening again. In the beginning, it was just AGL um, Super Saiyan Goku, and then eventually the Super Saiyan 2 version got Awakening and Super Saiyan 3. But you see what I'm saying, usually it was characters with different names. Aureli showed up, and Kitty Aureli, Physical Aureli, and SDR Aureli all got Dokkan Awakenings. It made people angry because they couldn't enjoy uh, joy of any kind. She got a attack 120% back when all the game mattered was that you got a bunch of attack. So she was, uh, and she also had like a chance of also attacking with like increased um, uh, immense damage for a while. It's the same thing as Kid Boom, but it raises the SA multiplier where 60% does not stack. But back in the day, this is when she actually activated this, she would be like the strongest thing ever because it was like 180% attack on a unit that very few units had this much attack. Uh, over the years, Dokkan has actively never brought her back. She was only brought back once on the JP side of the game, and when she did, that brought with her the the awakenings for I think the final Aureli which was the tech one which is the one in the Kid Goku outfit the int one also Dokkan awakened back in the 
day, I want to say. I actually don't remember. There's a shit stick one. I don't remember when exactly it got an Adokan Awakening. It either got it when she came back or in that first year. I can't remember that much. I know for sure the first three got Awakenings. Uh, the STR one. Okay, no, the one, you know what it was? It was the STR one and the AJL one got it from the Aureli event and then from the actual Aureli Dokkan Fest fight. <laughs> Aureli and Int one got Awakenings, and then eventually the Tech one got one. Uh, but yeah, since then, basically, since her second banner returned, she has not returned. That was, I believe, in 2017 or some point. Global only ever got her once. May 11th, 2017, she's never returned. Aureli has not returned in any capacity, including the fact that she has an LR in the game. She did not return when this LR came out, which was in... 2019 which is also crazy but i digress point is aureli watch when is she actually ever gonna come back so why why has she never come back is maybe the question most people are asking well i can tell you right now it's because japanese rights are very stupid Be even though aureli is in is canon to dragon ball i cannot stress this enough she is in fact canon she lives in the same world as Goku. <laughs> everything about everything uh, about her is 100% canon to Dragon Ball. Penguin Village lives inside the Dragon Ball world. She is still technically from Dr. Slump and not Dragon Ball. So they have to get the rights to Aureli, a character that exists within Dragon Ball, to use in Dragon Ball. Um, now I know you're asking, doesn't the same motherfucker hold the same rights? Isn't this just Akira Toriyama or Jonin Jump? Whoever? The answer is yeah. But those rights are different from um, some other stuff. It's a really big mess. But basically, whatever deal they have for Aureli, they don't actually have the ability to have her always in. It's similar to, I guess, Heroes, where they have it like once a year or something. She's the first technical crossover with an actual unit in the game. She has not returned. I really want her to return. I think everyone. I think at this point we need her to return because she obviously shares. Let me see. I think it's a total of two links with Kid Goku. I think both of them have. Um, let me see. She has the Innocence, Mechanical Menace, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, Revival, Penguin Village, and Fierce Battle. And of course, he has Fierce Battle, Guidance of the Dragon Balls. I forgot she did not have Guidance of the Dragon Balls. <laughs> God, it's, even though she's from oh my god whatever Ad incredible the incredible adventure does she not also have incredible adventure she doesn't even have incredible adventure kamehameha in fighter all in the family and the innocence so they share a grand total of two links though funny enough i think the lr shares a lot more links with him because she, she has the innocence in fighter incredible adventure guidance of the dragon balls penguin village shattering the limit and legendary power only really missing one um to activate links the the, the biggest problem with this kid goku isn't that because everything about him is great it's the fact that he just doesn't link with a lot of people he needs someone who's like also a kid goku but with like kid goku ape who basically has the exact same everything as him. I think that's the, probably your best bet of ever getting another Kid Goku that links incredibly well with Kid Goku, is literally just getting Kid Goku again. Um, but yeah, this guy's from Movie Heroes. He's in Movie Heroes. The LR Rayleigh is in Movie Heroes. They should L EZA this one. But if they EZA this one, they may as well just go full force and bring back this Aureli. Because really what this team needs more than anything is just more... Dudes from Dragon Ball Saga who are worth shit. Right now, this unit's not cutting it. She has no defense. She dies extremely easy. Her Nichok Cannon is just not enough. Even with a full crazy ass build, even if you somehow had her rainbow, it would not be enough. None of her other. <laughs> no one else who shared. None of the other units who share Penguin Village she can link with, except for the LR. All these other Aurelis don't link with Aureli. <laughs> This Kid Goku, actually. No, because again, it's a Kid Goku, but it's a different Kid Goku. It's really funny that they're basically from the same thing, but they don't actually link very well. But look at this. Of the Penguin Village that came with her, this was during a time where Dokkan would release uh, a wave of units and not give them Dokkan on Awakenings. Obachamon, Ob Obachanmon, Obachamon has still an SSR form. Fucking Mercenary Tau is an SSR form. 
Fucking General Blue is SSR form. Sour Man, who's actually shit at everything, is SSR. It's insane. Like, not only would they need to bring her back, give her an easy A, give her an easy A, give her an easy A, give her an easy A. They would need to actually go back and fucking give these guys new SSR forms. I mean, in the beginning when I started a Rayleigh watch, I was under the assumption that eventually these guys would turn into TURs. Um, even him. But at this point, I've lost all hope on that, man. I just need a Rayleigh to come back. It's been too many years. The year is 2022. There's a Kid Goku Dokkan Festival from fucking the Path of Power, but they can't find time to return the girl that is literally in one of the fucking arcs of Dragon Ball. It is insane that Dokkan has been allowed to function this long and a Rayleigh has not come back. So I'm going to... For the sake of there actually being a leader now that's actually good for Dragon Ball Saga, and technically youth too, even though she only has like fucking one, two, three, four, four categories, I think the same is true. Actually, no, I think the LR form has more categories. Yeah, because she's on Dragon Ball Seekers, Join Forces, Movie Heroes, Youth Beef. This is the first time ever where a character who is in a joint category, usually you lose categories when you are in there with another character. This is the first case of a character actually gaining more categories. They are just actively ignoring the fact that she exists because she should be in a lot of other categories that fit here. The fact that she is not on fucking Bonds of Friendship is insane to me. She has nothing but friends. This is borderline Gohan having no friends. That She shares so many of these. Dragon Ball Seekers, I'll give you that she doesn't have those because she did not search them in. Only in the movie does she actually search. But I'll give you that one, but she clearly has friends. She has plenty of friends. Easily. So, yeah, that's a really watch, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I like that this intro, the intro there where I did at the beginning is going to be completely undercut by the fact that uh, you're going to know this is a really watch because that's the name of the video. But I wanted to start it off differently, which is fun. But yeah, man, they should fucking bring back a really. Do it. Someone at whoever fucking works at Dokkan, bring her back. It's been way too long. Look at this. This is also the greatest banner that Dokkan has ever released because the first three were guaranteed. One of when they'll see, uh, this is the bad version of the banner, but the good one, this one, three times only. One SSR collaboration character guaranteed per multi summon. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like Dragon Ball Heroes. We would not have the good Dragon Ball Heroes banner if it was not for fucking Aureli paving the way with Sour Man's asshole mouth, Obachiman's uh, happy go lucky glider, and this man with a knife getting ready to stab a child. This is all the things we have thanks to Aureli. Pave the way. Absolutely deserves to come back. There's not much more I can say. Bring back the fucking character!